All right, welcome back to Slide 9 Homestead. So today, I'm going to walk through setting up the rotisserie uh, for the chud box. And the chud box has these openings on either side here. And that's where the rotisserie is going to go through. And it's going to sit on the arms of the chud box. So let's get started. When you order the rotisserie um, from Chud's Barbecue, he does fabricate these two pieces um, that are specific that sit on the arms of the chud box. So that's in addition to the set, the one grill um, that he kind of packages this with. So you do buy the one grill um, rotisserie from him and he includes these two pieces that you need. And I'll show you how these go on. So. We need those two pieces, and then the only pieces that we need from the kit that gets sent is, of course, the motor. There's this weight. And then there's this piece here, and I'll show you how important that piece is in a minute. There's this shield, the heat shield, which is what that is. And there's these four little screws. There's four other bolts, but we don't need them when we're putting this together for the chud box. And then of course, you know, the two prongs that go into whatever meat you're cooking. And then this piece here is the slide piece that slides the motor onto the clamp on the side and of course the bar itself. So there are a lot of other pieces that come with the one grill, but these are the only pieces that we need in order to put um, this onto the chud box. So first thing to do is, I found it easier if you turn that upside down and you slide this piece in here, okay? And then you have these four holes. So the first thing that you do is you put your heat shield on because the heat will be, you know, up this way to, to keep the heat off the motor, right? Um, and then you'll take this piece that comes with the chud box. And what we're gonna do is um, put the four little screws in right here. And this is how the motor is going to attach to the arm of the chud box and they're self-tapping. So this piece here um, are the threaded screws. So you'll put the heat shield on that, then you'll put the chud box piece on that, and then we put these four little screws in there. So let me take care of that. Okay, so there's the finished product um, once you get all four screws in. So that's kind of a side view. And then what we need to do is back these screws out, which I've already done. So that way it'll go right on the chud box arm. So I'll walk over there, kind of put that on. I'll hold that crazy like with one finger and then I'll go ahead and tighten that just for a second. Cause we have to make sure that we line the rotisserie hole up with the, um, the little window here. So that's the side with the motor. So let me open up the chud box here. And then um, for the other side, we'll just take this piece here and kind of line that one up with the hole as well. I'll just do one side so that we could stick the bar through to make sure they're lined up before we tighten down both. And then I'll take the bar, which is here, and we'll put the pointy side through because the pointy side actually came with a rubber protector and I didn't actually know what it was for a minute and then I figured out that you had to take that rubber protector off because you you know we don't want anybody to get stabbed so then this will slide through to the other side over here and then we'll open this up right there push that through and then you can see I didn't line it up so let me loosen up this screw just a little bit to slide it to the right a little all right so that looks about right so now that I think I have it right um, actually let me just put it all the way through okay and then okay so I have um, the clamp down here um, in line I have the pole in the motor and I had to be careful to make sure that that was lined up in the center all right, so this side is on and secured, and you could see the heat shield that came with it is on to kind of protect the motor there. So then on the other side, what we need 
is this piece um, right here because when this rolls around here, you don't want it to um, hit on the on the smooth sides here and it'll just make a grinding noise. So that's what this is for. It'll ride inside there. So what we have to do is just pull the rod out of the other side just so we could lift up the rod, slide that piece on, and then put it right like that so it's in there. And then I'll push this back through over here into the motor. And now that it's in the motor, this clamps down to keep the rod from coming out of the motor. So I'll go ahead and tighten this down. So that way it keeps it from sliding back and forth while the motor is running. And then what we would do, I'm not sure if we need this yet because I haven't actually used it. We're getting ready to put the weight on there. And then there's a handle that I've seemed to misplace. Oh, here it is. All right, and then the handle screws on there. And I'm not gonna make the handle super tight onto the weight because the weight would have to spin. So I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work. And then we're good to go. That's it. Then you have your on off button and it'll rotisserie nice and slow. And what's nice is um, he made sure that the screws were up high enough so that when this turns, it's in the center of the hole. It's not gonna rub on the steel, which is good. Same thing on this side. It's up just high enough that the metal won't rub when it turns. And that's how you put together the rotisserie on the chud box.